Hello, Oregon. My good friends, once again, we gather this year for our annual Oregon Rally for Life. Today, you know, marks the 39th anniversary of the tragic Roe v. Wade Supreme Court decision, which gave impetus to the hijacking of the legal guarantee of the right to life across this great nation. You and I gather here in peaceful protest of the many violations to the dignity of the human person committed through acts of abortion. And over the years, more and more of our fellow citizens have come to lament the fact that not even a child in his or her mother's womb is safe from the deadly forces of selfishness and sin. We all long for the day when abortion will end, for we know that this day will indeed come. And we're all here today because we seek to protect the life of the littlest and the most vulnerable, because we know that our God will hear their cry. Yes, my friends, the power of evil is strong, but the power of good is even stronger. All is not lost. In fact, we rejoice over the slow decline in the number of abortions performed in this state over the last 15 years. Now, admittedly, Planned Parenthood is still in the business of providing abortions. They're building another big abortion clinic down in Springfield, and they prevailed here in Portland, too, in spite of the righteous indignation of so many of our fellow citizens expressed under the leadership of Bill Dis and Precious Children of Portland. But we know the supporters of abortion rights pay only lip service to reducing the number of abortions overall. And yet, it has become increasingly difficult to deny that abortion is morally wrong since advances in ultrasound technology and the science of genetics have provided indisputable proof of the humanity of all the unborn. You know, back in 1973, the Supreme Court in making this unfortunate decision, stated that there's no need to resolve the difficult question of when life begins. Well, if that was what they believed back in 1973, it's simply untrue in 2012 to say that abortion does not take the life of an unborn human being. And because it's a reality, abortion can never, never be settled law in our country and someday it must be overturned. And what gives us even more hope is that this decision, 39 years ago, has failed to gain the support of the American people after nearly four decades. Most Americans already want legal restrictions on abortion that go far beyond what's permitted by the court's ruling. And so, my friends, I salute all of you today for joining in this rally, and I offer my strong personal support, as well as the support of our Catholic community here in Oregon, for the many ways in which you, our fellow citizens, give witness to the sanctity of life during these challenging times. And you know, as more and more people recognize that the culture of death is marked by brokenness, confusion, and false promises, we have a great opportunity to build a culture of life. And so when all is said and done, those of us gathered here today recognize the fact that the most important thing we can do to promote the right to life for all people, especially those who are most vulnerable, like children in the womb, is to pray. And so now, eager to pray together once again as we begin this rally, we place ourselves in God's presence and we turn to the Lord and plead for his assistance in our efforts to change minds and hearts about the right to human life. We pray first of all for every unborn child and for his or her parents that God, God might teach all of us how to love them and support them. We pray that women and men whose hearts are weighed down by the sin of abortion will find peace in the truth about life and the justice about protecting all human life. We pray for all medical researchers that God will give them the grace to use their talents and skills to preserve and protect all human life from conception to natural death. 
We pray for our legislators, especially those here in the state of Oregon, that they will preserve the right of each of us to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And we pray for the grandparents of every unborn child, that through their prayers, their wisdom, and their example, these unborn children will be nurtured and protected. And finally, we pray for a growing love of all the weak and vulnerable among us, that together we will work perseveringly and successfully in our efforts to sustain and protect the lives of all who are in need, especially the unborn. We present these petitions to the loving author of life with the hope that one day we shall all live with him forever and ever. Amen. God bless America. Thank you, Archbishop Blasney. Your presence here means so much to us. And you have been here year after year to encourage us, and we very much appreciate it. Thank you.